What is so special about the Toledo Symphony is the players, the individuals that make up the orchestra. These players work harder than any other orchestra in the United States, I swear that that's got to be true. Not only is it a place of work, but we have such strong bonds, it's friendship and family all together. People want not just what's best for themselves individually, but what's best for the organization. People really take that into account in their playing and just as being a part of the artistic community of the orchestra. I never realized how unique it was when I joined the orchestra, but then I started talking with other peers and the amount of collaboration that we do between staff members and musicians, between board members, between the musicians in the community, it really goes above and beyond. I think that the Toledo Symphony weaves itself into the fabric of Toledo. And I think many people, when they hear the orchestra for the first time, are shocked at the high quality of the ensemble. I think audience members will understand that the Toledo Symphony offers every bit of the musicianship that you would find in a city like New York or Chicago. But we're your friends and neighbors. What I love about this orchestra is that we reach out to the community time after time, either by going to a community to perform in their concert hall or in their church, as well as having the community come to us in one of our concert venues. So we see familiar faces in the audience and then we see them again out in public. The fact that easily 1,400 people are going to follow us from Toledo to Carnegie Hall, is just, it just warms my heart. In a certain way, there are a couple of halls in the world which are the Mount Olympus, you know. Uh, the Wiener Musikverein is one, uh, maybe the Berlin Philharmonie is one, and the other is Carnegie Hall. Uh, that we play well enough, that we are important enough in our communities, in what we do, that we really play there. And uh, in that respect, it means a lot to me. This orchestra has worked so hard. They deserve Carnegie Hall, in my opinion, more than any other orchestra that's been there. To be invited is such a huge event for these folks and they so deserve it that I just want to walk on stage with this band of brothers and, uh, and have a little bit of fun on the, on the biggest stage in our business. For any musician I think to perform in Carnegie Hall is some measure of career validation and certainly for any ensemble there's a great measure of validation and that what you're doing is correct or right or meaningful. The repertoire we're doing, we're doing a Shostakovich Symphony Number no. 6 and a piece by Andre Previn and Tom Stoppard, um, a play, and an orchestra piece combined, which is really unique. I've never done anything like that before, and I don't think most orchestras have. And uh, I think the orchestra is uniquely positioned to take advantage of this opportunity because we're really used to pursuing challenges that go above and beyond the music. So that's really unique. It's going to have a lot of different challenges that we have not, you know, experienced before working with actors. Um, we've done lots of stuff with narrators, um, but to have this play going on, there's probably going to be lighting, I don't know, costumes, I have no idea, but I'm excited about it. I think that the minutes before, I'll really be trying to take it all in. I'll be looking around, looking at the, the boxes and the balcony and just trying to revel in the acoustic a little bit. But as the minutes tip closer to the downbeat, I'm going to start to try to bring my focus um, narrower and narrower. Our job, which I know we will do, is to perform a stellar concert. And what I'm looking forward to is the third movement of the Shostakovich because the harp does not play and I will get to sit there and watch and listen to my colleagues as well as look out at the audience. So personally, I'm looking forward to that little 10 minute segment where I can just listen and watch. I think that the New York folks who will be there will be interested uh, and the curiosity factor might be like, what are we gonna get? You know, what is Toledo exactly? And uh, I think they will be surprised, pleasantly surprised at what they get from our little little town and the orchestra that we put put out. Carnegie is like the top of the game. I think it's just it's just incredible and so we need to get out and support them. I'm extremely proud of them. Just makes me uh, makes my chest come out even farther. It's just such a great attribute to our city to have something like that and the idea doesn't surprise me that they're going to Carnegie Hall. That's all I'll say.